Jenny, how, hey, Helen. <laughs> how have you found judging comedy in the writing for Quip? Well, it's very difficult, isn't it, Helen? Because <laughs> you and I are very similar in so much that we're jealous, jealous of everybody <laughs> else being funny, so we can't really stand it. So as soon as anybody does anything really good and funny, I kind of but get you a know bit it. twisted. But I do know it, though. I recognise it. I re we can both spot it. You we have a that. nose for it. We're like comedy beagles. We are comedy beagles, and so on the one hand, you now being a very respected writer as well, with knowing the comedy, you have a comedy instinct. You were saying, can you teach comedy? Well, I both of us have uh, innate comedy, and we come from a generation of women that was pre any comedy workshops, any comedy uh, courses and that sort of thing. We came onto the circuit completely wet behind the ears and, and found our way. Um, I am very anti being taught comedy. I don't think you can. I think that people are born with funny bones. Mm. It's like a flexibility. Mm -hmm. You're born with 90% of it. You can work on the other 10%. Um, and I, I still genuinely believe that. And this judging uh, experience hasn't taught me any different. I think that some of these writers find writing comedy easier than others. And you're, you're recognising that because by judging the unpublished prize, you're looking both at the at the power of the writing and the potential of the comedy, aren't you? Um, they both, because this is a prize and we have to award on the merit of what has been presented, the only frustration has been there are some books that have potential, but because the skills aren't there yet, they've had to be pushed back. Mm. Because this is an award for writing and for the, the work they have presented to the award, um, we've found the best all-rounder. And, and that was totally, uh, uh, what's it called when everyone Unanimous. Goes? Unanimous. Is it's not a word I'm used to it's saying. It's not a word that we no, embrace. I have to, might have to go look it up. Didn't you tell me once that you're Marmite? I'm so Marmite. But you're not Marmite now. And what's exciting is I think you're in your prime as a writer. I think Marmite has changed. I think Marmite's <laughs> become a bit blander. I think they've taken Beige. some of the... <laughs> so it's just, have you opened a, t a jar of Marmite not recently? recently. No. It's not even dark brown anymore, for hell. It's not that dark, sticky tar colour. Do you... It's just beige. You're absolutely right. It's so, got a bit vanilla. So we are no longer um, a minority uh, as we were uh, fighting for space as individuals. What still we, fighting, we're still fighting. We're still fighting. We've still got that. But I don't think... The climate is one where we have to fight as much, certainly for new voices. Do you think that... Except you feel very much that you had to offer this, that you had to step forward and fill this gap. So obviously there still is a need yeah. to uh, shine a light on women's writing, women's comedy writing. I agree. And what's fascinating listening to you as a comedy practitioner as well as writer, I, this is a new uh, term, comedy practitioner, but it's helpful because... Yeah. You, I'm like a comedy doctor. You are a comedy doctor and hopefully you're going to mentor people, um, going to force you into it. But we we can get irritated, can't we, when we're told to laugh at something on the page and it isn't funny. Um, you have a very strong sense of that as very a comedian. Much so. but I, I don't require to laugh out loud at something to know it's funny. I mean, I, I think sort of... I don't know of a book that's had me rolling around mm. the sofa. Oh, actually, I do. Mm -hmm. I do know. Uh, it, but that was... Is it on the list? No. Uh, it was, And it was also on Audible or audio, mm. and uh, it had a lot to do with the performance. So right. we'll just take that out of so the equation on for the now. Page, on the page, you know whether things are I witty. Know, yeah, witty, definitely. I, I sometimes feel that, uh, I think that ha having had so much experience in comedy can actually be detrimental to um, judging an award like this because you see scenarios coming up and you go, mm. don't try and tell me this is funny because mm. I'm just not going to laugh, I'm going to resist this. But um, why you're so good at this is because you have... Turn, because you're always a writer anyway, and because your writing is so much, you're writing so much. You are quite unusual in that you both have both hats now, both as a novelist, yes, and somebody who knows. Yes, but I, I comedy. wouldn't attempt to try and be funny in my novels at all. There's no way I sit down to write a funny novel, no way whatsoever. Because I, I, um, they, it's a relief for me not to try and be funny, and yeah. you know, just take that kind of out, totally out of the equation. Um, they but it are will just shine. Occasionally, but it will shine through. Funny, yeah, yeah. There, there are there are funny turns of phrase, but there are very few 
comedy scenarios that yeah. and I think that is a danger with people writing funny books where they try to write a comedy scenario where I'm much more comfortable reading a, a, a funny book is when it's just witty well, on the page it's a pace to it there's a... I agree so the prize is to increase the visibility of both potential and established witty voices yeah we we know that Muriel Spark existed before the prize we know that wit and women have existed in the past. Um, do you think there's a danger of like uh, shining a light, as we, this awful phrase, this cliche, is that we're just going to get more mediocrity? We're just going to get people being more predicted, predictable because there are more female comedians now. We, well, than no, our day. Well, not in this price because I think that's your job to weed that yeah. predictability out mm. and to sort of just go, no, that's not what we're after. Yeah, that's just cliche. Yeah. Uh, so we're with you on the panel. That. We are very blessed. <laughs> there aren't the, so cliches are discouraged. D totally, and we wit want is originality. Encouraged. Original wit is encouraged with the quip comedy prize. Okay. That's what we're after. Okay, and with Jenny and Claire on the panel, we are going to achieve it, and we have. Thank you, Dame Jenny and Claire OBE. Quip. Well, thank you, Dame <laughs> Helen Ledger MBE OBE Doctorate Surgeon Twice. Yeah, well, I've only got one. No, I've got two. Well, you're older than no, me. No, it's face Stop it. Stop it.